Hey, it's Tracy and welcome back to the channel. We are here at the Coos Trails in Gorham, New Hampshire. First time here, let's go check them out. So I've been pronouncing the name of the trails wrong. I did not take into account the umlaut on the second O of the trails. I believe it's pronounced Coors. This trail is considered a blue and is about a mile long and is a fun descent. I believe there is about 223 feet of descending. Ooh. Got it. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I love a good ghost story. I did not find any ghost stories specific to the Coors Trails. However, there are many ghost stories in the surrounding area. Approximately 30 miles from these trails is the iconic Omni Mount Washington Hotel. The hotel is nestled in the White Mountains and has breathtaking views of Mount Washington. Countless guests have strolled the halls, enjoyed a cocktail on the veranda, and perhaps encountered a ghostly presence or two. This hotel was built in 1902 by Joseph Stickney. However, shortly after the completion, Joseph passed away. But his wife Caroline continued to spend her summers there. Ooh. You all right? Yeah. Caroline eventually passed away at her Rhode Island home, yet eerie tales have surrounded her suite at the Washington Hotel ever since. Brave souls staying in room 314, known as the Princess Room, report lights flickering mysteriously, objects vanishing and reappearing, and ghostly whiffs of floral perfume in the dead of night. Caroline's own bed remains in the room for guests, and many have claimed to see the apparition of a woman sitting at its edge. Despite her continuous presence, Caroline is a friendly spirit, ensuring guest enjoyment of the hotel. From what I understand, if you find yourself at the Omni Mount Washington Hotel, you can ask the front desk about a guided tour of the property, along with its fascinating history, as well as other friendly spirits who have made it their eternal home. Through the corner thing. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Fuck no. That's a big old drop or gap jump. Not for this chick. seemed to be a long climb up Alpine Spring, we got to Howie Roll. Howie Roll is considered a black diamond downhill only trail that is just over a half mile long with about 322 feet of descending. This trail has big berms and gap jumps, and there is also A and B lines, so you can avoid those gap jumps if you wish. Washington is in close proximity to the Coors Trails and is a hub of ghost legends featuring multiple ghost stories. At the summit of Mount Washington stands a historic former hotel known as the Tip Top House. Dating back to 1853, this iconic structure is one of the oldest surviving buildings in the Mount Washington summit area. In September of 1855, Lizzie Bourne along with her cousin Lucy and Uncle George embarked on a journey to ascend Mount Washington. Their adventure began just after 2 p.m., but due to their late start, they found themselves short of their destination when a fierce storm suddenly descended upon them. Taking refuge behind some rocks, Lizzie tragically succumbed to the ravages of the storm. It was also believed that Lizzie had a heart condition that may have contributed to her demise. As dawn broke, Lucy and George realized they were merely a few hundred yards from the summit house. 
At the very spot where Lucy met her tragic fate that night, a small stone monument stands as a solemn reminder. It is said that on every September 14th, a ghostly apparition of Lizzie can be witnessed hovering above the marker, forever tethered to the mountain where her life was tragically cut short. Hope you enjoyed the ghost stories and the trails. Thanks for watching and see you next time.